everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today is just a short little video which I'm going to be showing you how to create a flashing label. Uh, for some reason, this is really requested for me. I get asked it pretty often. I'm not too sure why. Personally, I don't like the flashing labels, but there's a lot of people that do, and instead of me having to explain it each time, I'll just show them the video from now on. So I thought it'd be the easier option for me. Um, so yeah, there's various ways of doing it. Uh, the ways I've been telling people is a bit of the longer way, so I'll be showing you a simpler way in this video. Um, so yeah, let me just get started. So I've just added the label. This is the label which will be flashing. Um, we can either have it automatically do it, like throughout the program, or we can have buttons to start and stop it. I'll be showing you both ways. So I'll create two buttons now for start and stop. Um, and we also want a timer. So I'll quickly add one of those in. So timer 4, we'll just start the timer 4 in the start button, timer4.start, and I'll quickly create this button to stop it, timer4.stop. And what we want to do is inside the timer, uh, you want to be aware of the interval. So the interval is 100. That's milliseconds, so a thousand milliseconds is one second, so that is one tenth of a second. So that is extremely fast. Now, the timer will execute the code every 100 milliseconds. So the higher this number, the slower you, the colors are going to flash. So that is the number which you'll change in order to speed it up or slow it down. Uh, for now, I'll just keep it as 100 to show you how fast it really is. Um, so we got label 11 here, so we go into our timer. Uh, the way we're going to do this is really simple. We're going to create a random uh, as a new random. And basically what we're going to say is label 11 dot for color because that is how we control the color. There's also, uh, if I show you, I'm pretty sure there's back color. Because our background's white, we do not see the back color, but it is like the back color is white we can change it to um, transparent and stuff like that so you could also create a flashing effect for the back color if you wanted but yeah for now we're just going to be using the four color and that is going to be equal to color and you see we got a list of colors here but instead of using the list of colors we're going to say color dot from ARGB now the reason for this is RGB, if you don't already know the colour system, it's red, green, blue. Um, so we get to pick a number ourselves. but instead of typing a number manually, we're going to be using our random to get our numbers. So inside here, we just want to say, well, we, we got eight RGB, so we need three. Uh, for the red, the R, we'll just say random dot next, and inside here we need to give it the the minimal number and the highest number so minimal is just going to be zero and because the color system works as the highest being 255 we just want 255 like that and we just want to do a comma and we'll do the same thing for all three because they all work the same way uh, so we're going to have zero and 255 and we'll do the last one for b random dot next uh, zero 255 like that and that is really all there is to it so if we start this up now and I'll give you an example of this right so uh, this is our start button I didn't label them but if I were to press start you see our label is flashing now between colors and we got our stop button here like that so we can start it so as you can see that's flashing through colors and we stop it uh, so something I'll show you is you click on your timer uh, you can do it in the code too timer 4.interval is equal but you could just put it here so if I speed this up to a thousand now and we'll try that out you'll notice the difference so remember that is how you change the time we open that up you see when I press start it's flashing but it's going slow so it doesn't really give the flashing effect so maybe a hundred is the best way to go or even lower than a hundred if you want it that fast 
Yeah, but that's the basic way with the uh, buttons. If you don't use the buttons, if you just click on your form to come into the form load um, function, just under here we can just start the timer here. So timer4.start. You, you don't need a button, so as soon as we open this up, it will start, like the, the label will be flashing on its own um, until you shut the program. There you go. Um, there's many ways of doing it, but this way is literally the, the simplest way. Um, there's two lines of code for this. Uh, ways that I were doing it before was using an if statement. So if the label um, 11 dot four color by default is equal to black. So I was saying color dot black, um, color dot black, and then I would do in this if statement I'll change the color to blue, and then I'll have another one saying if it's blue then change it again. And uh, that's just a really long way. It's, it's not really necessary. This way we can just use random to get it. Uh, no, no need going over 255 as that is the highest number that you can go in the RGB. Um, so yeah, that's all, really all it is to it. People seem to over confuse it and get too confused for something that's really not that difficult. So yeah, I hope I could help you. And if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.